Okay, so 10.4, we're going to go on to fix it now. 10.4 says, we decide to move a heavy file cabinet by sliding it across the floor. You push against the cabinet, but it doesn't move, doesn't budge. Draw a free body diagram for it. Okay, so... Um, if there's your cabinet, okay, there's your force of gravity, and then you've got a, a normal force, a force of contact of the floor on the cabinet. Then you've got um, an applied force. This is your force that you're pushing. So F applied. And then there will also be F contact force, but this is a tangential one of the floor on the cabinet. So actually it should be something like this. F applied, F tangential, F normal, and F gravity. Okay? And remember that your acceleration equals zero. So all of these forces are balancing out. Okay? Now, now we consider friction. Um, this force that opposes, that's opposing us, we're, we're trying to apply a force to get it moving. This, this, that force there is actually um, your friction force. And this is a tangential component of the contact force exerted by the floor on the cabinet. So the, there, there are two contact forces. There's a normal contact force and a tangential contact force. Okay? And yeah, so this is a normal force and that would end up being our friction force. All right? Okay. So suppose you push the file cabinet just enough to get it move, to keep it moving at a constant speed. Draw a free body diagram for the cabinet while it slides at constant speed. What is that going to look like? So you get it moving, and now it, it moves at constant speed. What's going what is the free body diagram going to look like? Well, it will actually look exactly like this, right? Because the forces are balanced. You're applying a force. Um, there's going to be gravity and a normal force. But then there's going to be an opposing uh, tangential force. And this force will exactly balance the applied force because our constant, our speed is constant. Okay. I hope you got that. Now the next one is, suddenly you stop pushing, draw a free body diagram for the file cabinet at this instant. Well, what happens? What happens <coughs> when you stop pushing? This guy goes away. And so you're left simply with this the friction force, so the cabinet is busy moving with a velocity and you let go and the only force is going to be this tangential force. Well, of course, you've got these guys. Gravity and the normal force. But this guy is going to slow it down, right, until this, um, until this cabinet stops moving. So. Let me be a bit more accurate. You are just going to have this tangential force, and you're going to have your F normal and your gravitational force. Sorry, gravitational force. Those three forces, that's what you're going to have. Okay? Um, okay, that's enough for now. We will actually go into uh, what causes friction in the next one.